Welcome to Graber Works. I hope you enjoyed today's video, and if you do, please like, subscribe, and comment. Today's video is about the Grizzly G0768 benchtop lathe. I've shown a few different views of the lathe for reference. This lathe has a described work area of 8 inch swing over the bedways and almost 16 inches between centers. It really has a smaller work area than described due to the cross side, carriage, tailstock, and other items needed for the function of the lathe. All manufacturers of lathes list their machines in this manner, not just Grizzly. I will have screenshots of the machine data sheet from Grizzly on the G0768 variable speed lathe at the end of the video. This is considered a hobby lathe and has some limitations when compared to other full size lathes. I mounted the lathe to an old Craftsman workbench that I bought off of Craigslist and painted it to match the Grizzly lathe cover. A good friend gave me some maple top butcher block bench tops from my school and I finished it using Zisner shellac. Thanks Bob for the workbench tops. They are awesome. The lathe weighs around 150 pounds and is considered a two-man job to lift it, or you can use an engine cherry picker to lift the blade. I use the cherry picker to place the lathe on the molded branch. I use grade 8 5 16 inch bolts, nuts, and washers to bolt the lathe to the table. You could use a lesser grade of hardware to mount the lathe. I used two additional washers, one on the bottom or the bolt head side, and one on the nut side or the top. I applied some silicone sealant around the bolt holes on the tabletop to ensure there was not any oil or other liquids leaking past the holes and onto the items stored in the cabinet. When I get to leveling out the lathe, which will be a future video, I'll shim between the chip pan and the lathe bed cast. For the most part, the lathe was fairly easy to line up on the holes in the workbench top. It just required a little muscle to slide it around on the tabletop and chip them. I had to remove the in gear cover to access the holes in the lathe bed cast and install the mounting hardware. The cover was held on with two knurled knobs and I set the cover knurled knobs to the side and out of the lathe. I like the lathe and I got it for a good price. I know that there will be some adjustments, fitting accessories to the lathe and other things to do with it. One big item will be cleaning the lathe. The factories use a grinding powder to wear in and seat the ways. Unfortunately, they don't get all the powder out of the ways and it must be cleaned out. I also like the fact that it will be easier to outfit with tooling that can be made with the lathe. The hardware was tightened down and there's a view of the finished hardware installation on both the tailstock and headstock side of the lathe. Here's a view of the screenshots of the machine data sheets on Grizzly G0768. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please feel free to add them to the comments section. Thank you for watching Graber Works, and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did like the video, please give a thumbs up, subscribe for future videos, and comment. Thanks again. Mm -hmm.